Recently, I moved to a new building, and with that move came a new office. So today I wanted to take you guys through my office, show you what's going on here, how I use everything, and how it's set up. So let's get started. All right, first up we have the TV and kind of lounge section. I wanted this to be comfortable, but also functional. So I have this amazing couch that I got. I looked at a million couches from Ikea, Wayfair, a million places. This one was the one I finally settled on. It's a nice gray, it's super comfortable, but more importantly, it's versatile and modular. So you see I have one arm here. You can also add another arm on this side. The ottoman can slide out. You can move it around, put your feet up. It also has a chase section. There's a million different options with this. You can even turn it into a day bed if you take all of the cushions off. So it's a great piece, really comfortable and affordable. I'm glad I got that. And sliding over to the TV, we still have my same OLED from last time, 55 inch. Obviously anything bigger than that would be a little ridiculous. With my DefTech audio setup, that's temporary for now. I'm gonna keep it a little bit longer and see what I get. Maybe a sound bar would work there. Got the Nintendo Switch with the D-Brand skin, my Moran Slimline receiver, uh, a temporary home theater PC here. Gonna upgrade to a gaming PC, obviously. That's coming in the future. And then my power conditioner. So pretty simple setup. I play Switch games and obviously a lot of PC games, but this is really functional, great for watching movies, TV, and gaming all in one. All right, so here's obviously the star of the show, the main focus of the room, the PC setup. And we have here our, my nice desk. This is actually not an Ikea desk. It's a solid slab door on top of monoprice legs. You see here, this actually is a sit-stand desk. So if I wanna sit down, great. If I wanna stand up, be a little more flexible, that works as well too. For peripherals, I have a Dell wireless keyboard. It's nice, a nice set here. Um, this is what I use most of the time. I also have a 10 keyless uh, from Habit for gaming, but this is what I use most of the time. For mouse, I use a Logitech G703. My favorite mouse, I like their G Pro as well, but I just really like the feel of this a little bit better. My monitor is the Acer 38 inch ultra wide, 75 Hertz. This is a beast for productivity and for gaming. 75 Hertz, obviously not monstrous, but it does help a little bit. You guys are probably familiar with my computer for sure if you've watched the channel before. This is my LZ7 the no compromise build that I did a while ago. I've since made some upgrades to that as well, and there'll be a video coming on that. But this is a mini beast. I love that PC. And for audio, I go with the Dynaudio Z02. This is a really amazing speaker. They're not cheap, but they're incredible. They do wireless, they do wire, they do pretty much every mode you could expect, and they sound fantastic. So this is my desk setup basically. Uh, also the iPhone charger here, just a Qi charger whatever you need here, and the cheap desk mat. These are actually great, just a simple black desk mat, but they're only 10 bucks, so they're fantastic. The chair is also a new addition. So we have the Bullies chair here. Uh, they sent this out for review, so I've been testing it out. I do like it. Uh, it's my first racing style, you know, quote unquote racing style chair, but so far so good. I'm a, I'm a fan of it. It has everything you'd want. Uh, just look, check out for that review. Above my desk and TV stand, I have some patent prints from Monoprice. They look pretty good. All you have to do is grab some frames for them and you're good to go. All right, so on the opposite wall from my PC and my TV, we have my shelving setup. This is designed to be functional and also look good if I wanna have it as a backdrop for a video or what have you. Up top on the top shelves, we have my, the cases that I currently like the best, I guess you'd say. On the left side, stuff that I've probably covered already. Usually on the right side, you're gonna find cases that I'm going to cover or have upcoming builds in. So I have something planned for all three of these right now. The DA2 is gonna be coming up really good That really soon, that's a great case. Directly underneath that on the right side, if you're ever wondering what components I'm running in my PC, you'll find them here. So my laptop box there, my router, my, my motherboard, all that stuff that's in my no compromise PC currently, that's right there, you can always see it there. On the left side, we can see parts that I'm testing. So you see a lot of cooler stuff that's coming up as well. Uh, underneath that, we have my camera gear, so batteries, my slider, all that fun stuff, microphones, charging station, etc. Lenses, as well as storage. I have my Western Digital Backup, my 10 terabyte drive there, and then my Surface Pro, or Surface Book 2, I'm sorry. Surface Book 2 here, and a charging station for that. On the right side down below, we have all of my just raw components for builds that I'm doing. We have two Mini-ITX test benches, coolers, uh, power supplies there, 
HD Plex 300, 160, uh, spare graphics card, and also just random testing components. So my acoustic meter and my volt meter there, as well as some canned air, just everything that I would need to do testing or do builds, so on and so forth. And you also see on this right side here, uh, we have my screwdrivers, screws, everything, tape, tape measure, all that stuff there, uh, it's ready to go. Underneath here, we have just miscellaneous boxes, and then on the left side, we have a printer and some more boxes. So that shelf is pretty, pretty much useless, but everything there is functional and has its own purpose. On the right side, we also have hooks for my headphones. These are really convenient. This modular section, this modular, uh, I guess, shelving unit is, is really well designed and works well for what I need it to. We also have shelving for my controllers. So everything can just kind of hang out. It has its own place uh, and it's all functional and looks good as well. When we come over to the desk here, this is probably very familiar to you guys. Obviously, this is where I shoot a lot of my videos. This gray top, I also have a black and a white that I use sometimes. I've got my work laptop here, its own little lighting section there. Um, we also have this kind of sit-stand stool. So this can pop up and be used for a sit-stand desk, kind of halfway, but it also works great as just a stool for this section to like type, do work, do builds, what have you. It's kind of perfect for that. One of the great things about this area it has its own light and when I'm doing builds this light is perfect because you can simply unscrew this top piece and rotate it down and then you have direct light that's going right into whatever you're doing so it makes it a lot easier to do builds than it would have otherwise don't have to worry about above head lighting or anything crazy like that and then you just pop it back up when you're done and it's all good I also have lighting back here. So there's a soft glow you probably notice. I've got an LED strip that you can just kind of turn on and off there. Real simple. And I also have a soft box that casts light throughout the whole room up top here. Let me pop that off so you can see, just reach back. And that really helps light up a lot of the videos, keep everything consistent and put a soft light on, on every object in the room. So that's this back wall. Uh, this is designed to be functional, like I said, but also look cool. And I'm glad that I have the shelving because I'd be in a bad place without it. I also have a closet here where I can store all the boxes for all the products that I get in, as well as my camera gear. So we have my tripod, my slider, and my lights obviously in there and any boxes from other projects as well. Very convenient to have for extra storage. So that is my setup, guys. I hope you all liked it. So far, it's been amazing. It's the perfect room for shooting, as well as just hanging out, gaming, being on my PC. I really do love it. Some of you may be wondering why I didn't put my PC desk against the wall with the window, which is probably a common setup that you've seen some other people do. Simply put, I like watching TV while I'm on my PC. And also, I like being able to isolate myself from the window so I don't have to have that light coming in if I don't want. But if I do, I can just turn to the right, get a nice big open window view, uh, and it's, it's just really nice. If you want more information or want to pick up anything that you saw in the video today, I will have links in the description for everything that I can find. If you have any questions or anything, you can drop them in the comments below or in the article on the website. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay. This is Tech Everything. I'll see you next time.